Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and my guests are Lynette Schiffbach and Brady Kessner of the Highland Arts Council and Art in the Park, which is coming up in a about 10 days, eight days, mm -hmm. seven days, yes. eight days, <laughs> right around the corner. And you guys are probably really busy right now. So Highland, Illinois, just across the river, about an easy 30 minute drive from, um, from yes. the arch. Yes. So easy to get to. Um, and we've been talking the last segment all about the different types of art. You guys have been doing this for 15 years and it's probably grown a lot over the years. So what are some of the changes that you've seen since the very beginning? Well, each year is a little bit different. We have a more people in one category than another so it changes we are a juried show so that means that they have to submit some samples of their work and we have a team that judges whether they are actually a fine artist or not so is that a blind um, um, jury would you yes say? they send in mm -hmm. photographs and mm -hmm. then the jurists look at their the photographs without of their knowing work. where the artists are from or is that something that takes um, that's part of the decision that is part of the decision to, okay. to know who they are. So that and, part and, isn't blind. Yeah, right. Okay, got it, got right. it. Because I know you have a lot of local artists. So yes. So there has to be a reason for that. So um, so it's October. The event is in October. At what point um, do, those, um, do those applications start coming in? Uh, usually around February or March we send out the applications. And we have a deadline in June, but we do extend that. If there's spaces available, we do take them up to the very end. Okay, and has the number of entrants increased over these 15 years? Well, it's generally held about the same. Mm -hmm. We have a limited space, so we have 60 to 70 that can fit into the space that we have. Yeah, and then and we were talking in the last segment about Brady's photography. We have these beautiful ceramics. I'd love for you to show these to our viewers as well. And okay. tell us a little bit about these and what other types of artwork we might see at the um, Art in the Park. This is one of, that's called Mixed Media. And um, it's polymer clay, which she manipulates and changes the color by mixing colors together to make the color that she wants. And then she makes kind of a cane. It's kind of like a jelly roll that you would roll up and slice pieces off. So these, each one of these little sections here on this side are actually one of those slices from the jelly roll. So there's mm. no painting involved. It's all polymer That's clay. That's amazing because I would have thought painting for sure. Right. Yeah. Right. And then we have painting on mm -hmm. canvas and oil and acrylics, and we have sculpture, and we have photography, mm -hmm. and we have uh, jewelry. clay. You're and wearing some jewelry. of Jewelry. This is another one of the polymer clay pieces mm -hmm. from, that are made the same way as the bowls are. Yeah, yeah. So something for everyone, for sure. Mm -hmm. Right. The Art in the Park event, I think, is pretty much like any of the art shows that everybody in St. Louis would be familiar with, only maybe on a little bit of, of smaller scale. Mm -hmm. The quality of art is there. Um, even the parking is easy, um, the food is great. It's just a wonderful little event and um, it draws a lot of people from our area and we like um, everybody in St. Louis to know about it and know what they're going to expect. It's a, it's a first quality event with a lot of hospitable people that put it on. So yeah. It's really cool. And is there live music as well? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. It's family friendly and the mm -hmm. kids have an area where they can come and make their own pieces of art. We've also established a, an art gallery just for kids where the artists donate pieces to it and the child can go in by themselves without their parents and purchase any of the pieces for $5. So it's a way of in, in encouraging children to be uh, appreciative of the arts. And to be respected for their own choices as that, well. That's which is right. It's always so right. nice to let children make those choices. That's and right. What they find to be beautiful. Right. Yeah, and to encourage that. So tell us about the um, the actual times and days of the of the event, the park. The okay. Art in the park. It's October the 13th, which is a Saturday, and it's open from 10 to 5 that day, and then the following Sunday on the 14th from 11 to 4. Okay, and there's a VIP experience on Friday night. Friday right? evening, yes. It's there for sponsors and for our VIP guests. Everybody can be a VIP guest. Mm -hmm. They just have to go to the uh, website, highlandartscouncil.org, and there'll be more information there about it. Okay, so they could go early if they're, uh, uh, if they're one, of our, one of your VIP guests and purchase that night as well? Yes, mm -hmm. they can purchase. And the good thing about that is... Uh, they get their money back from uh, from registration so that they can use that money to buy at the show. So it's a win-win uh, to attend the evening of Friday evening. Okay, very good. That sounds like a great, great idea. Anything else you want to make sure our viewers know before we take a break? It's family friendly. We hope everybody can come out and enjoy the free great admission. weather and free, free, admission. free admission. What about pets? 
Pets are welcome. Okay, it so is the whole a park. family. Yes. Even the four-legged ones. All yes. right, very good. Okay, so you can learn more about the Highland Arts Council and Art in the Park by visiting highlandartscouncil.org. There's more STL Live after this, so stay with us. Thank you.